So one more thing about Nirvana, uh, which is what happened with fame, right? I'm always curious about that because you go from, you know, again, regular guys who love music who are playing in this band, and, and you guys, have known, you and Kurt have known each other a long time from this small town, and then all of a sudden you are unbelievably famous. What, what, there's a lot what happened of, There's next? a lot of pressure, and um, then there's being like just – living in this little counterculture world and then getting pulled into the mainstream and it's just like wow all of a sudden you know we're the biggest band in the world and there was a lot of pressure and the most pressure was on kurt so he was the singer he was out there the songwriter and so he was under a lot of pressure mm -hmm. how did you feel uh did you did you feel uh, in some ways elated? Oh my God! Look at this. I think looking back, I was just confused, and it took me a lot of years to kind of work work through that. And I tried to do the best best I could, you know. And I, we were the best. Nirvana was at its. We were at our best when we were playing. We liked to rehearse. We liked to make songs and and you know play play together. And um, that's what we did best. That's and when we were happy. And the rest was a whirlwind. I always I have dreams about Kurt, and it's, I'm so happy to see him when in a dream, like, oh my God, it's so good to see you. And then, then we're always like, well, okay, let's go play. We're always going to go play music. Like, so there's just some kind of connection there, uh -huh. which is good, and that's what it's all about.